Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about a better alternative if you cannot afford for the Stream Deck by Elgato. Elgato is mainly for, you know, streaming, but even for multimedia, if you're using Photoshop, it has a lot of hotkeys and whatnot. Anyways, you already know what Stream Deck is, and if I were to go to a couple different functions, you'll see on the screen here, that, you know you can switch through scenes and whatnot so you can even record so what do I have to offer you is if you already have a smartphone you're already there you are already there and this will be a better alternative because you already have the tools that you need Streamlabs OBS offers you the tools that you already have so let's go ahead and jump on over to that let's go ahead and disable all of this so before we get into the video, if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to hit that big red button that says subscribe, hit the post notifications. Every time that I live stream that or I upload a video, you'll be notified. If you want to come through when I do live stream, come say hi. Or if you have any technical questions, that's what I'm there for. So uh, ask away. Also like and share this on all of your social media. Okay, so as I said, uh, with Streamlabs OBS, go ahead and download it if you don't already. So they offer you a QR code where you can get it on your phone. So let me go ahead and start mirroring my phone here. Let's bring this up. Okay, so here's the phone. And let me go ahead and go to the Streamlabs OBS app, which you can get it on your Apple OS devices or even Androids from the Google Play Store or the iOS Store. Once you get that downloaded and link your account and whatnot, yeah, like it, it shows you everything. Let me go ahead and just uh, zoom down out of that. Okay, so once you get that um, in place and whatnot, all you gotta do is go to the uh, remote control settings, which will be right here. Uh, mine's already linked. Let me go ahead and unlink my account. And now we gotta go back to the Streamlabs on the desktop here. And you wanna go to the remote control settings and it'll give you that QR code. Now I'm gonna bring this off screen so you guys don't have to have my QR code. I wanna keep that private. And we're gonna go ahead and, oops, I totally forgot that um, <laughs> my phone was uh, scanning that. Let me close up the connection up on this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scan that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up on the phone that is. Mirror connection to the computer. There we go. And if we flip this right side up or this side, and now we can start messing around with everything. So as you can see on the phone, start streaming, live scenes, intermissions, be right back, and so on and so forth. It'll give you everything that you need. Just as long as you have the input of the sources right there, it will automatically put it on the phone. It's that simple, guys. So I hope that this video was very helpful to you. If it was, you know what to do. Hit that like button and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I know it's been short, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.